wrongs to the world, three brothers are on a mission to share the rich history of this borough. Let's go and meet them. So From the Bronx started in 2006 with a mission to improve the image of the Bronx and to share its rich history and culture with the world. We were doing pop-up shops all over the Bronx, right, in culturally significant locations, featuring our own merchandise, you know, featuring merchandise from collaborators and friends. And so 12 years ago, we did one in the Arthur Avenue retail market, which is where we are right now. The managers here at the market came to us and they said, hey, we love what you did. We love the crowd that you brought here. What would you do if you could stay? And we said, we'd open a beer hall. <laughs> I mean, beer halls are inherently communal spaces. In addition to being a beer hall, yeah. during the day, we invite school groups out here and we teach them, you know, Bronx history. We teach them about the uh, businesses in this community and the history, not only in Bronx Little Italy, but in the Bronx as a whole. Now it's, it's cool, you know, what's happening in the Bronx is cool. But back then, it was like, you're insane. Like, you don't know anything else that you can possibly do with your life. Yes, family and friends. I mean, it's always crazy when you start something uh, on your own because, you know, we're not hedge fund kids. We don't have a ton of money. Wow. It was what we saved up at lunch to get this thing started. In our minds, it's always been cool. It's sharing and letting people know why. Why is it cool? What don't they know that they should be aware of? I love that. This brand. It's owned by three brothers. That's right. I want to hear all about them. <laughs> so it's me, Anthony, and my brother, Paul, and then my brother, Derek. And Derek is a trained artist. Yeah. The poppin' colors for a poppin' borough, right? Oh. So if you look around here, he has his hands in all of it. Paul, talk to me about the importance of family in the brand that you guys are creating. Well, I mean, you know, when you think about the Bronx and you think about uh, the wider community of the Bronx, I think that we've come up through a lot of struggle and we've all done it together, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So this idea of like moving together and moving towards a greater purpose all in one, I think that's really like we're representing the BX, but we're also representing who we are as a family and as brothers. I love, listen, I love you guys, you guys are on a mission to bring to people the best that the Bronx has to offer. So how about you bring me somewhere else? We're gonna go to Woodlawn Cemetery. A cemetery? A cemetery. Woodlawn Cemetery is home to leaders, scientists, artists, you know, all buried there, all yeah. with their own story. In addition to being a cemetery, it's an open air museum, it's an urban oasis, and there's just so much history and so much to learn there. You are at the most visited place in the cemetery. This is Woodlawn Jazz Corner. And ever since Duke Ellington bought his lot in 1959, this is the most requested place. I want to be as close to Duke as possible. <laughs> so you have Illinois Jaquette, Lionel Hampton, Miles Davis. They're all here because they want to be close to the maestro. Many, many years from now, my father plans to be over here as well. He's a jazz musician. We Tony have, the piano player. Oh, there, see, oh. and that's the thing. Well, so much to get to know from the Bronx. That's right. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Stay tuned yeah. for so much more that's coming. Always, yes. that's right.